Welcome to Whiteboard Marketing, where we simplify marketing with easy to understand whiteboard videos. And today I'll be sharing with you what is keyword research, some effective tips for keyword research, matrix to consider while conducting keyword research, and the best tools for keyword research for SEO that will help you to ease up this process. So let's get started. First, the basics. Keyword research is a technique aimed at finding the keywords your audience uses when they are looking for a product or service you offer. Without keyword research, you might find yourself lost in your own world and battling giants in your industry that can't be beaten in search results just like that. There are a variety of factors you have to take into account when doing keyword research and setting up your keyword strategy. But don't worry, we'll be discussing all of that in a bit. But before we start, you need to understand that the power of keyword research lies in better understanding of your target market and how they are searching for your content services or products online. So first off, why is keyword research important? Well, proper keyword research is important because it makes clear what search terms your audience is using. Till date, I've come across many business owners who use one set of words when describing their products while their target audience uses a completely different set of words. As a result, potential customers couldn't find those websites because of a mismatch in the word usage. Additionally, by looking at search intent of your keyword, you'll be able to find what exactly your audience is looking for. I've created a detailed video explaining what is search intent in SEO and why you should care about it. Link is there in the description below, so be sure to check it out. And remember, when you start aligning your business goals with this, you'll soon start understanding that it doesn't make any sense to optimize for words that people don't use. Further, let's learn how to do keyword research. To make the process easier and give you a better understanding on how is keyword research done, I've divided the process into 7 steps. Step number 1. Determine your mission. You must reflect on questions like what is the main goal of your business or organization? What makes it special? Who exactly are you trying to reach out to? And what promises do you make on your website? Take your time and literally write down your mission on a piece of paper. The market you are in determines whether your mission will prove genius enough to rank high or not. Some markets are highly competitive, with large number of companies dominating the search results. These companies have huge budgets for marketing in general and SEO in particular. Trying to compete with these companies is tough and so ranking in these markets is also going to be tough. You must find a small place to start initially with your SEO efforts as once you have little on your plate, you can surely start competing with the bigger businesses. Step number two, make a list of keywords. With your mission in mind, try to get into heads of your desired audience. What will these people be looking for? What kind of search terms could they be using while looking for your amazing product or service? Which of their problems does your product solve? Write down as many answers as possible by you and give it time. If your mission is clear, you will have a pretty clear image of your niche and unique selling points. That is, the things that set your business apart from others. Once you have completed this step, you'll have a list of search terms you want to be found for. Step number three, research your keywords. After you have created this first list, it's time to dive a bit deeper into your keywords. Luckily, there are some tools that make your keyword research a bit easier. The first is Google itself. Yes, Google the keywords you already came up with and check the searches Google suggests while you are typing. Those are the questions people actually asked on Google. You can also check out related searches on Google search result page to gain a better insight on this. While Google is a good place to start and offers tools like Google Keyword Planner, you might want to gain a more deeper insight on how a specific search term is performing. I'll recommend you to use one of the following tools. First, SEMrush. This is a paid tool but I've placed a link in the description that allows you to try SEMrush for free. Well, SEMrush is not a typical keyword research tool. It offers so much more than just researching keywords. And also, it lets you perform keyword research in multiple ways. For example, it lets you find keywords using a seed keyword or a head keyword. Next, it allows you to find keywords driving traffic to your competitors. And also, it allows you to do keyword gap analysis. Next on the list, Longtail Pro. 
Now, Longtail Pro is a cloud-based software for keyword research. This is a paid keyword research tool which will help you find amazing keywords for your niche or micro niche websites. With their platinum version, you can get a really amazing and really detailed keyword analysis done for your website or business. They also offer a competition checker which will make it easier for you to pick the right keyword for your strategy. Number 3. Google Keyword Planner The Google Keyword Planner is one of the most used and popular keyword research tools out there. The only reason for it being so popular is that it's free and directly integrated with Google Ads. And to start using this tool, all you need to have is a Google Ads account. Overall speaking, this tool is a good basic option for early stages of a website's SEO. Google Keyword Planner is one of my favorite free tools, but if you are someone who needs a more detailed insight with intelligent competitive analysis, I would recommend you to go with SEMrush. Number 4. Answer the Public For anyone looking for a free keyword research tool, Answer the Public is a great place to start. This keyword tool will let you find long tail keywords based on your head or seed keywords. You will be able to see keywords in different formats such as questions, prepositions and comparisons. The free plan lets you search for 3 keywords every day which is decent for someone looking for a free option. I personally think that what it lacks is the keyword volume and as long as this is not very important for you, answer the public is for you. Further, these tools will provide you with all kinds of variations for your key phrases, synonyms and related keywords. I've placed links for each in the description below so feel free to check them out. Now let's come back to the process. Step number 4. Don't forget the long tail. When people start out with keyword research, they tend to focus on very popular head terms or seed terms. Unfortunately, those head terms are mostly taken by large businesses. Long tail keywords on the other hand get less search traffic but there is less competition too. Therefore, it's easier for you to rank on those keywords. Moreover, long tail keywords even have a higher conversion value as they focus more on a specific product or topic. In this case, it's your niche. To give you a better understanding, here's a graphic created by SEMrush. Step number 5. Analyze your competition. Whether you should go after long tail keywords largely depends on your competition. If the competition in your niche is high, you'll probably have hard time ranking on competitive head terms. On the other hand, if you have little competition, you'll be able to rank for more of your head terms. So you'll need to do some benchmarking for SEO. Do note that it's hard to rank when you are competing against sites with strong brand names. If your brands are known on TV or radio commercials, your chances to rank high will become even smaller. But it won't hurt to take a look at their content. Develop this habit of asking yourself first, is the content well written and well optimized of your competition? As if your competition has poor content, you might have a chance to outrank them. Step number 6. Take a closer look at search intent. Try to find out which intent is your audience having when they type a certain key phrase in Google. Ask yourself, do they have an information intent? That is, they try to find information on a specific topic or navigational intent. That is, they want to access a specific website or commercial intent. That is, they want to research something before buying or transactional intent. That is, they are looking to buy something right now. Having clarity over search intent will help you come up with a better SEO strategy. If you want to learn more about search intent, I'll recommend you to watch my video on search intent in SEO. Link is there in the description below. Step number 7. Determine a keyword strategy and start building landing pages. Based on the data you have collected now, you can develop a keyword strategy. If you have followed the steps above, by now you should be having a spreadsheet with substantial amount of key phrases and information about your competition and search intent of your audience for those key phrases. Now think about this question, how does my website hold up compared to the websites in the search engine? Are you of equal size and marketing budget? Then simply go ahead and focus on those head terms. But if you are not, try making use of more long tail keywords first. Once you are done with finalizing your target keywords, it's time to go ahead and plan your content for landing pages.
As you have learned now how to do keyword research, here are a few keyword research tips that you should keep in mind while conducting it. Number 1. Prioritize your keyword list. That is, you don't need 1000 keywords to start with. Even a small number like 5 is a good start. Number 2. A focus key phrase and its synonyms only need one page. Yes, in the past, each keyword you wanted to be found for got its own landing page. But today, however, search engines are so smart that they mostly use search intent to give searchers the best answers to their questions and use LSI to counter synonyms. If you want to learn more about LSI, check out the link in the description below to learn more about LSI keywords. Number 3. Add related key phrases to help Google understand your text, as it deepens and broadens the understanding of your focus key phrase. Number 4. Check out results for singular and plural keywords, as this small difference can make a huge impact on your marketing budget. Number 5. Use key phrase only once. As your ranking might suffer from keyword cannibalization, that is, you'll be decreasing your own chances to rank in Google. Number 6. Try, evaluate and try again, as success usually comes to those who keep a track of it and plan ahead. With that being said, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, be sure to smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.